going on everyone so I'm doing a couple new things uh, first of all I have the GoPro and I'm using the head mount the head strap because uh, I'm too lazy to do anything else right now um, let's see what else also I went to Lake Placid New York on a snowboarding trip last weekend and I went back to the puzzle store where I got my first cube from. Now this is a Rubik's uh, brand 3x3. It has uh, Cubesmith textured tiles on it, but I did that after the original Rubik's stickers peeled off. I got this one from a store in Lake Placid called Imagination Station. Um, now when I went back there, I bought two more puzzles, so that's what this video is going to be on. So, first one, I got the V4, the V-Cube 4x4. Now, there were a bunch of these sh sitting on the shelf, and I, I was looking at it, and he brought this out. He was saying that uh, this is the one, you know, when people look at the 4x4, he gives this to them if they want to try it out. And I ended up buying this one for uh, $20, so that, that wasn't bad. I was amazed when I first started playing with it. It's awesome. I'll just get right into the turning of it. You can see the inside layers are just are perfect. It's very crunchy feeling. And then the outside layers turn very well also. Now I didn't do anything to this. I doubt that he did, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, and my, my uh, fingers don't really slip off of this like I thought they might since it is pillowed. Uh, this, right now this is uh, has to be my most favorite 4x4. This is the, the V-Cube 4B, B since it's pillowed. Similarly to the V-Cube 3B and the V-Cube 2B. So really quickly I'll compare this to my Shengshao 4x4 now this one is very good as well I put so much time into uh, modifying this and tensioning it I even have um, my own stickers on here now this this one is very good as well um, it might be better than the V-Cube, but uh, I can't I can't really tell. I, I like playing with the V-Cube more for some reason. It's just, uh, it's much more crisp feeling. Yeah, so I'll do a uh, quick solve here. Let's see. I'll also have some uh, footage from the trip that I took with the GoPro. Basically, me wiping out. Um, I got a few nice jumps and 50-50s uh, that I was doing on jibs. I'm not ready to do rails yet, but I'll I'll get there. Let's see. Okay. not too great with this uh, edge pairing. It takes me a little while. Okay, now it's down to the 3x3 state, 
and we solve it as a 3 by 3 Of course, we get parity. Let's see. I think we got both kinds of parity here. Yeah. All right, and there you have it. I always like to uh, turn the V facing. Uh, pointing towards the the top, pointing towards the uh, the orange, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, like so, because that's how they are supposed to be oriented. You can tell with an even uh, layered cube when they're on a corner, so I always have it like that. All right, so enough with the uh, V cube four. And on to the second puzzle. Now the second one that I got is called the Meru Senko uh, Sphere. And this is basically a 2x2 two two, since it moves like this and like this here and this. With um, the faces being able to turn as well. Okay, I got this one for a really good price. Um, I believe it was $18. So, especially from a store and not online, I believe that's a pretty good price for this. I don't have too much to say about it, so I will I'll mix it up. I'll turn some of these centers here, and then do some 2x2 two two moves. And I didn't really have a, any certain plan for this video. I would rather just get a video out there since I haven't had one in about, I think, uh, at least a cubing one for a while. Um, so I'll show you the, the package that this came in. That's pretty scrambled. All right, so it came in this here. And my room's a mess right now, don't mind that. Um, so this went right in here with the top like this. And you could see it's the Merusenko Sphere. That's made in Spain pretty cool thing that I saw about it. It came with a little paper on the inside. Uh, it says that it has no screws, springs, or washers, but that it is made with all plastic. So it's pretty interesting. Um, I can't I can't really see in the inside. As you can imagine, it doesn't really corner cut. And I don't want to try to disassemble it and end up breaking something. Also right here it says uh, Merusenko's Sphere. Meru Senko Sphere. Alright, now solving this is pretty easy. Basically, what I do is um, I solve it like the 2x2 two two, and then I solve the inner spheres. So I will do that. Here's a yellow and here's a yellow. Now this red is good. Now these just need to uh, get switched. That did nothing. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now that's the solved 2x2. Two two. And I will just do these um, middles now. Let's get this yellow one. 
and I'll do this yellow top right here and right there. Now these two need to be yellow. Okay, now we have this one slice. This is a quarter of the sphere. And I'll do the green slice now. Okay, there's the green slice. Now I will do this red center. And then this and this just need to be switched and it will be solved. Okay, so as you can see the Marusenko sphere it uh, really isn't that difficult, but it is a pretty fun puzzle to solve. And I definitely had to get it since I was back in the store where I got my first puzzle. I was like a little kid in a toy store. Just a big 23 year old in a toy store. Um, <laughs> and the guy that I was talking to, I showed him all the puzzles and stuff that I had and I told him that this was the first puzzle that I've ever had, um, that I ever got, and it was from that store. He said that he was very proud to sell me a puzzle that uh, is part of my collection now, and it was it was cool. We were uh, we were definitely geeking out or nerding out. So, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, feel free to like this video, uh, comment below, leave any suggestions. Um, if you like my videos, you could subscribe and definitely keep an eye out for some upcoming videos of the snowboarding trip. I didn't get hurt too badly, but um, there are some pretty funny falls. Alright, see you next time.